Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, just pull the hanging tag off of uh, one of the nicest Camaros we've ever had. As we walk around this car, I'd like you guys to look at the fit and finish. And uh, this is uh, one of the things I love about this car in particular is there's so much of it that's kept stock on the outside, but underneath and all wrapped underneath the skin and the suspension and things like that is a very modern car. Uh, the interior has been kept totally stock. Uh, and we'll walk through and we'll kind of see some of the old school, new school uh, features in here. And I think probably the biggest thing is that this is like the sleeper car. You know, you start with uh, the classic Camaro body and the 67 being the last year for the vent windows, which looks really great. Um, and just looks kind of stock. Unfortunately, the wheels are a little big and you can see those big brakes that are inside there. You know, and that might be the giveaway that kind of uh, tells people there might be something a little special in the hood. The exhaust in the back, uh, it's got the super traps on. It's the first car we've had in a long time with a super trap exhaust. And the exhaust is kind of cool in the sense that it has these rows of discs in it. And as you, uh, as you prefer your exhaust loud, you put in less discs. If you like your exhaust a little quieter, add and remove discs to change the sound of the exhaust. So uh, let's take a peek for a second. So from the outskirts, like this car looks really stock. This is the RSSS, right? We got the hideaway headlights. You got a beautiful uh, a factory looking cowl hood with a real just factory chrome bumper. It's not like color matched or anything like that. It's got the right front and rear spoilers, the nice stock little mirror that's there. I wanted to show you the quality of the paint on the car because one of the things that we like to do a lot is um, show you in the video what you're really getting. You know, we talk about pictures and video and the, and the differences between <clears throat> perhaps the, uh, what the pictures may hide and what the video shows you for sure to be. So when you see the pictures of a car, you know, to know for a fact that the paint is really, really good, the pictures really need to be clear. The, the leaves need to be clear, the tree needs to be clear, the person taking the pictures, you need to be able to see what they look like, things like that. In this case here, uh, you know, you can almost read the entire price list that's in this tiny little font. And then like you can see the watch in there, you can even see what time it is. I mean, this is like really, really nice paint. The extra step, meaning that they laid down uh, the stripe on this car after they put it over top of the paint, then they re-cleared this several times over and you can't even feel it. So it's just the little detail stuff that looks really nice. I love a cow hood. I love cow induction emblems on the hood. If you like them, we can put them on. If you don't, then uh, that's okay too. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a minute because uh, in here is a small surprise. Would you look at that, huh? This is the LS1 engine, and uh, it changes the whole handling and characteristics of the, of the car driving. I'll tell you why, because it's all aluminum. The block is aluminum, the heads are aluminum, and it's a real 400 horsepower. You know, they change the way they rated cars, and if you look at like a 72 Camaro 350 horsepower, or 350 engine, you know, those are in the 200 horsepower range. Uh, they've moved under, you know, down to the lower 200s, and uh, that's the way they changed the rating, because they used to be rated, you know, in 69, the 350 was rated at, uh, at 300 horsepower. And here, this is 400 real horsepower, working your way through for power and delivery and things like that. This is really nice. You hit the key, it fires right up. Um, this has the modern air conditioning on it. It has power Willwood four-wheel disc brakes, which I want to show you. Also has fast ratio power steering. The suspension's been upgraded. And it's just really nicely done. It's got cold ram air induction over here in the corner. Okay. No vacuum uh, headlights. Uh, these are electric. Uh, so nice, you don't have to worry about vacuum leaks and things like that. Hit the button, it seems open, they close for the headlights. What's cool about it is all of this under here, this has the Overdrive 700R4 automatic. It is a great transmission, known to be uh, super high strength, so they come out of the Corvettes, and uh, they obviously put them in some other cars too that had a lot of power. But in this case here, you're getting everything nice. This also has uh, Moser axles in the rear end. And for a little extra strength, we talk about real 400 horsepower, you want stuff to be sturdy. You don't want to bolt in this and put in a weak transmission and a weak rear end. Everything in this car is uh, set up to do one thing. Go fast, handle well, and cruise all day long. Let's take a peek at the rest of the car. Not only do we have a high-speed BF Goodrich uh, G-Force TAs, polished American Torque Thrust wheels, but Willwood four-wheel disc brakes and their power also, which is very nice. If we can get a little peek of the underneath of the car, the underneath of the car looks great all fully restored, beautiful exhaust. And this is the part that's interesting. So you can go to the next level if you like, but check this out. Inside this interior is really very nicely done. Everything is bone stock in here, which is, I mean, bone stock. So this car with a set of just regular rally wheels on it, no one would ever know 
what's under the hood of this car. We could put a set of 15 inch or 16 or even 17 inch rally wheels on this car and it would be the sleeper of a lifetime. You could actually go with uh, a set of 17 inch rally wheels that they build and we could also get 17 inch red line radials for the car which would be really an awesome awesome touch especially with the red uh, stripes on the hood but check this out inside everything in here is stock it's got tilt wheel which is nice it's got a factory tack speedometer it's got the original style gauges it's got the console they've even left the indicator which you can purchase uh, to say four because it says one, two, three here, you can get it to say four because this is a four-speed automatic. It even has the original AM FM radio in it. This also has a rear window defogger. It's just beautifully done inside. Anyway, nice car, great driving. Let me show you the trunk real quick, and then uh, maybe we'll get to the good part where we fire it up, huh? A little bit more just talking about the car and as we move our way around. Like, look at the, we talked about how nice the package shelf is. That's all new, it still retains the stock speaker mountings, the rear window defogger, which was factory back then. All the taillight bezels have been redone. This is the exhaust system that we talked about, depending uh, uh, whether you want uh, it to be a little louder or a little quieter, you just remove these discs that are right here. It's got the backup lights like it's supposed to have down below for an RS. And this is really nice. So this is kind of cool. Like, check this out, right? Here is the wiring for uh, all brand new for the LS drivetrain. Super easy to get to. It's all color coded and labeled. Everything's there. This is a difference that you're talking about restoration. Optima battery, this really doesn't have to buy an Optima battery to put in a car. A track auto battery will start this car, or advanced auto battery will start this car uh, just as well. But when you're looking to build the best car for yourself, and that's the kind of car you wanna buy, like this car was somebody's car that they took to car shows, they spent the money to make it really nice. And that's the kind of car that makes it really nice for you, because that person drove that car and they fixed all the little things that would uh, otherwise be uncomfortable to, to drive and, and not make you happy. You know, uh, we talked about putting some stock wheels and tires on it. Let me go ahead and fire it up for you and you tell me if it sounds stock enough for you. Okay. I'm closing up here this is the best of both worlds this gives you the that we talked about this at the beginning I hope I don't mean to keep bringing it up but this is the this is the classic Camaro body style which is great looking uh, with the modern updates of fuel injection you know air conditioning overdrive transmission and things like that. It's car drive all day long it starts whether it's hot whether it's cold it doesn't really care and uh, those are the advances in things that are very nice and that's why fuel injections become such a great feature on cars I think that uh, if you can afford to buy a car like this, you should grab it while you still can because it costs probably twice as much to build this car in maybe two to three years by the time you get it all sorted out, get the parts, and get everything together. Awesome, awesome car. Free and closed shipping is included with the price. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and we're super proud to present real nice 67 RSSS Pro Touring Camaro. Call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.